What is up, Charlotte Orioles and Oriole families? We are we're here. It is time to get into the game. Um, basically, the go live notification says it all. If we win, we are in. If we lose, we might be out. Um, we are fighting to get into the state playoffs right now. Um, trying to get our way there. If we win right now, that puts us up into like a, a like a top seven situation, which puts us in a really good st spot for the play-in on Thursday. If we lose today, we might not even get to the play-in tournament. So this is a huge game for Charlotte Oriole Valorant, um, and uh, we're hoping that things go well from here. Um, I'm going to have to reset the lobby. <coughs> Excuse me about it. My bad. All right, so I'm trying to get this lobby set up here. One of our players can't join, so we're just going to go ahead and leave the custom game. We'll go back into custom, set it to ascent. We want North Virginia. Game mode standard and tournament mode is on, so let me get this set up. We are going to be attackers first. Uh, let's get the other team's captain in here, and we'll start getting these Charlotte Orioles in here as well. Get Jason. If it will let me. Jason. Cameron. Whoops. Ryan. All right, sorry about that. We had to reset the lobby. One of our players could not join for some reason. Um, so we are going to get ready here um, to start our game. Our first map is going to be Ascent. We are playing University of Detroit Jesuit. They are the Cubs. Um, they are going to be playing today as a four-man um, they only got four players on their team. So we're going to be playing against a four-player team here, but that doesn't really mean anything for us. Um, I've seen a four-man beat a five-man all the time in Valorant. Um, Valorant is such a difficult game in terms of like the mistakes that you can make. Um, the mistakes you can make in Valorant are very slim. You, like, you could take one footstep out in the wrong direction or make a sound, and that could be your life right there. So... Um, just because we're playing four doesn't really mean anything to us. But um, this is a really, really important game. Honestly, this is the biggest game in, in, in eSports history as far as I know. We've never really had a game where if we win, we're in the playoffs. If we lose, we're out of the playoffs. So this is a really, really, really big game for these kids. They're hyped for it. They're ready to go. Um, right now they're doing their little hype circle, trying to hype themselves up. And um, in a second, they will get back to their PCs get on their correct teams and we will be good to go. So we're just waiting on that right now. Um, and then we'll get going. How's chat feeling? I see Milton. What's up, Milton? Honey Badger, vegan. Aaron, how y'all doing? Appreciate you coming out here, supporting the Orioles. I invited Ethan Ripley. He's not joining. All right, there we go. <clears throat> I 
making sure UDJ is ready. And we are off to Ascent. So Charlotte is electing to attack first, so they're going to be the ones with the spike. Try to get the spike down to make sure that it explodes. Um, Sarah, what's up in the chat? How you doing? Um, our comp today is going to be a little bit different. We have been doing double Sentinel a lot in the past, and that's something that we want to move away from. We're a little too defensively oriented. Um, so we are going to go ahead and move towards a more double initiator setup for our team, okay? Um, so you're going to see Davin is going to be playing Cypher. Cameron is going to be playing KO. Um, Ryan on target is going to be playing Gecko. Jason is dad. He's going to play, play Omen. And then Ripley is going to be Phoenix. And uh, that's Red Ninja that you see down there on the bottom. So these guys are going to be hyped for this. Uh, it's a huge, huge, huge game for Charlotte Valorant. If Charlotte Valorant makes it to state playoffs, that means that Charlotte has put three teams in the state tournament. So I, I would love to be um, – at the state tournament supporting three Charlotte teams. That would be incredible. Um, for those of you that don't know, um, Butterfly, I see you in the chat. How's it going? Um, the state playoff for esports is actually in person. So we actually get to go to Flint. It's at U of M Flint. They bring in several hundred thousand dollars of PCs and hardware for these kids to play on. And it's a full day uh, in-person tournament. So parents in the chat, if we make the in-person tournament this weekend, like, like, feel free to come out to, to Flint to support the kids. Be there in person for them. They have, like, an awesome um, display that you can watch it on as the kids are going. So you can be there with your kids, supporting them as they try to win a state title. Um, it's a really, really cool experience for them. But they don't get to go unless they win today and win Thursday. So very, very crucial week for these kids. Um, the tension is on for them. Again, chat. If you have a request for someone that you'd like to watch, I'm on a three-minute delay, so I will see it three minutes down the road. But if you want to watch one of the kids, you just let me know, and I will put them on the screen for you to watch. Uh, but we'll go ahead and start in here with one of the duelists. Uh, this is going to be Ripley. Smoke's going out onto mid-control here. Actually, I'm going to switch over to R Jason because I think he might be one of the first to see some action here. See Cameron on the flank over here. She does hear a little bit of intelligence here. So one might be coming to her. But I think he's just jumping around in tree. So there is one in tree right now. Charlotte playing this very, very patient. But it looks like UDJ is playing this super, super patient as well. Remember, UDJ only has four people. So they're probably not looking to go crazy and brush everything. Oh, oh my gosh, Cameron. With the shots right away. That's a heck of a start by her. Just the headshot to take down the Reyna for UDJ. Now UDJ is in a 1v3, uh, or a 5v3. Make that a 5v2 because Ryan gets a pick off on the sky on site. And uh, Charlotte's looking good right now. They're going to go ahead and close market door. They see a raise, head tap that raise. That raise is gone. And Charlotte is now in a 5v1 situation. Huge start by Charlotte. Great assertive dominant start. Games like this, you don't want to leave close. Omen TPs on a site and gets put down by Charlotte. That's huge. Great first round by Charlotte. Um, everybody bought ghosts right there for a little bit of gun advantage. Looks like they're going to be buying light shields, some stingers coming out, some specters as well. But that's the way to start it right there. Look at that. Four kills by four different Charlotte Orioles. So that's a really, really good start. Aaron, you're going to plan on being there? That's awesome. That is really, really cool. So hopefully hopefully we win today and hopefully we win Thursday and we can actually make it there. Um, for any parent in the chat, I'm telling you what, it is one of the coolest experiences ever for kids that are involved in esports to actually go to the state tournament. So Reyna is seen on mid. Reyna's going to be playing mid, it looks like, every single round. She's going to be playing up to market. Jason right now creeping up lane. He's probably going to get into his smoke right here. Smoke's going to go down. He Oh, he got blinded a little bit by it. Lucky to come away with his life right there. He's going to blind back and sit in his smoke and be patient for a pick here. The Omen's going to jump in like a superhero through the smoke and gets put down by Jason in combination with 
um, whoever that was right next to him, Davin. Davin and Jason get put down a tree, though. So Jason and Davin go down, and Charlotte has planted the spike. So they, all they got to do is hold here. It's a 1v2 right now in favor of Charlotte. Good molly by Ripley to knock off any entry from heaven. He hears him coming down from tree here. It looks like, oh, it wasn't communicated to Cameron, though. Cameron didn't know she, that there was anybody in tree or grass. Ripley's now going to be playing on spike. One flash in the pocket. He's going to flash out, but not push yet. Rays is going to peek out, and Ripley's going to go ahead and clutch it up for his team. That's a great job by Charlotte. Um, a little mis miscommunication on the person in tree, and uh, a couple of bad deaths in tree as well, but so far, so good for Charlotte. 2-0. As I was saying with Valorant, it's it's very little things that can be big mistakes. Just not telling someone, hey, someone's in tree. That little, like, three-word sentence right there, not communi that, communicating that to Cameron right there, really, really hurts. Losing a body in, in Valorant is, is a really, really bad thing. They knife tree, got no intel with it. Nobody is tree right now. Looks like they do see one mid. It's Reyna. Reyna's going to try to push through the smoke with her blind and gets killed by Jason, who then picks up a nice Araxis Vandal. I'm trying to get to Cameron here. Cameron's going up through mid. Let's see what happens with her. She's got a Bulldog in her hand. Big fan of this gun. Cameron's going to walk right through Market. Sees one on stairs. Sprays a little bit with that crowd spray. Got to work on that one. Um, but they do get the kill. She's going to walk on a site here. It's an easy sight take for Charlotte. Davin's going to plant in our default spot. Ripley's going to hold in corner here. And it looks like there is one CT right now. So Ryan's going to go ahead and send his wingman CT to try to get some sort of intel on that. No hits with the wingman. And I missed both kills. I am so bad at this. All right, so Ryan's going to get Spike here. He's going to be on Gecko. I like the Gecko a lot. I like Ryan's Gecko. He's a very, very good Gecko player. So far, so good for Charlotte. Looks like Cameron is going to be over here on a site alone. Probably trying to get some intel, make sure that there is a spot for Charlotte to rotate if they need to on the A site. But the majority of the team is going to be playing over here on B, and Jason's going to be rotating into mid for some mid control. One of our conversations pre-game was how valuable... Ooh. Oh, Jason, double peek there. Um, that's a tough thing to try to do to fight two angles at once. Jason tries to fight two angles at once, exposing himself to a 1v2, and he dies for it. But Cameron is going to get intel that there is a omen up on heaven. So her team, however, is fighting over here on B site and getting picked off in the process. Cameron does see one over in Cubby. But she gets blinded from behind. Cameron's in shambles right now. Oh, my gosh. Cameron's going to live it because she's nuts. Good job, Cameron. Ripley gets the final kill. Charlotte goes up 4-0. I thought Cameron was dead. Sorry to yell at you, chat. I get a little pumped up sometimes. Full Vandals, full Shields for Charlotte. No need to worry so far. Everybody's doing an excellent job. Um, exposing ourselves to a few too many angles in mid. And then some communication issues. But other than that, nothing to be too concerned about for Charlotte. Dabbing with a nice cam mid to let him know who's there. The Reyna peaked out. This Reyna is super, super aggressive for UDJ. And she's going to pay for it. And she's going to go down. And it's going to be an automatic 5v3 for Charlotte. The TP up top. I love this TP by Jason. He's going to be playing height. Smoke goes down. The Omen is there. He's going to spray and he's going to get the kill. Omen on Omen crime right there. Some action on the backside there. We did get a Charlotte Oriole death back there. 4v2. Ryan picks off one in tree.
Jason going to go ahead and peek tree right here and clear it out for his team. Charlotte's going to have to... Oh, they hear one heaven. Doesn't really matter that he's there, that he doesn't have time. Anyways, Jason's going to get the kill anyways on the rotate out and try to save his gun. He's going to save his gun. He's fine. Great job by the Orioles to pick apart the four-man of UDJ. And we move on. Five-nothing Orioles. Dog coming out on B. Maybe UDJ. I, 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 I'm, I'm assuming UDJ's philosophy with this is, hey, we're a four-man anyways. Let's be super aggressive. Try to make something happen here. So you can see, like, this omen right here is being super aggressive off of B site. Try to get a pickoff for his team. Um, UDJ is playing at a constant disadvantage. So really, I mean, what do you got to lose if you're a four-man? Just be aggressive. The great alt coming out by Ryan to stun that sky. They're going to res Cameron right there in market. And they're going to go off and clear sight here. Jason's going to be clearing sight. I think there is one in. Am I mistaken? I feel like there. Yeah, there is one in there. Omen is going to be sitting in back sight, but he gets spotted out by Charlotte. Cameron's going to clear CT with her knife, get some intel on that. Um, they're spamming it, so they think someone's in there, but I don't see anybody. Somebody should clear that corner to their right. Oh, looks like they found him. Her. This Ray's grenaded behind her. I wonder if she's saving, trying to get out of there. It's a 5v1. That's a heck of a fight to win. And Charlotte is going to go ahead and leave this because they want to save them guns. And the Ray's is not going to have time anyway. So Charlotte is going to get this spike to explode here. Um, an, again, a nice win by Charlotte. I can't, I mean, UDJ is just in a tough situation. I'm not sure why UDJ is a, is, is playing with four. I, that's just got to be a really tough thing for them. Um, they are right where we're at also. If they win, they're in a good spot for the playoffs. And if they lose, I, I don't know if UDJ is in the playoffs if they lose this game. So, um, I'm sure for them that this is really hard to do, but, um, Hopefully that player that is missing for them is doing well. Davin going to peek mid with an op. Gets shot by a pistol. Oh, Jason's doing something crazy. Jason TP'd into spawn and missed all of his shots and went down. The sky takes out Jason. It's an even 4v4 right now. UDJ in the best spot they've been all game. Should get to Cameron here. Cameron's going to be leading the way. She's going to throw Molly to the right. Peek her left. Didn't clear it all the way. See if she clears it all the way. She does. Nobody there. The sky's going to blind her, though, so she's blind for a second. Wall off by Ripley to keep her safe. That's a good teammate on teammate... Um, Util there, appreciate that. Cameron using her util really well. I like what she's doing with her knives. I like what she's doing with her stuns and her flashes and her mollies. Good job by her. Ryan's going to go ahead and plant for Charlotte. Davin's probably going to get a kill rotating here. No, there is one in market. He's just going to wait patiently here and just stare at this doorway. But she's going the other way. So let's go over to Cameron here, because Cameron's going to flash out. She's going to aggressively peek this. I love this. Oh, my gosh. They're both sitting in market there. All right. But then I switch off Davin, and he gets an op kill, of course. Uh, 2v1 right now in favor of Charlotte. This is losable for Charlotte. And Ryan goes ahead and secures the victory for Charlotte. They're going to go up 7 to nothing on UDJ. So Charlotte, I mean, in a 5v4 situation... Um, we should be winning every single round, and the only way that we would lose a round is if we we kind of throw it. So as long as Charlotte sticks to their fundamentals here and doesn't uh, give up a round just because they're cocky, then we should be okay.
All right, Cameron with the knife over to Tree. Gets intel there's no one at Tree currently, but someone's probably going to step up after her knife is gone, which she is aware of. That's why she's looking at it. She's going to walk through mid with Jason at her right side. Jason's going to smoke for her, but it looks like the enemy omen smoked as well. Possible plays coming out here. They hear an omen TP. That is definitely back on to Tree. Still nothing for Jason and Cameron. I would have thought they would have seen someone by now. The stun coming. Oh, the sky or the rays. I'm sorry, was ratting on the backside of top mid, and takes out. Oh my gosh, several Charlotte players just went down. It is now a two v three in favor of UDJ. UDJ showing some fight here, but David gets a nice op kill on a main to even it out a 2v2. Charlotte has 43 seconds to plant the spike. David's going to grab that Araxis Vandal that I love so much. Cypher, alt, they're going to go to B now because B looks open. Oh, but it looks like they are rotating out. Regardless of which site they push right now, they know that one player is on each site. So theoretically, they have a 2v1 on each site. They just heard door close, so that means he's either playing in tree or he's playing down low to the left. They know that. They should swing this together. Nice kill. Um, Charlotte's going to be able to get the plant down right now. Uh, Jason's going to go ahead and hold for his teammate while he gets the plant down. The sky for UDJ is going to have to make a play here. Just going to smoke again. Kind of biffed the smoke there, but it's all good. Not sure if that smoke helps or hurts Jason, actually. But this guy's right there on height, and he's going to go ahead and just head tap her and end this round. 8 nothing, Charlotte. Sherry in the chat, how are you doing today? Right now, it is 8 nothing, Charlotte. Um, UDJ came in with only four players out of the possible five, so... Like I've been saying, I'm not sure what's going on with their fifth player. Hopefully that fifth player is doing okay. Um, but uh, they could not play with it. This game was supposed to be played last Thursday, uh, but both Charlotte and UDJ had some players missing, and both teams decided to just put it off until today. Jason's going to go ahead and smoke on Tree, as he always has been. Looks like Cameron has chosen to move her knife to B. I like that a lot, actually. Move that knife around constantly. Keep UDJ guessing. Jason is out in the middle of mid. This makes me nervous. I think he's nervous, too. Flicking that vandal all over the place. Clear to your right. Oh, my gosh. Jason gets the kill, but he scared me. Davin in a fight back here. On t bottom of mid, he's gonna back off into middle of mid. We talked about that before the game. Middle of mid is a is a bad spot to be. So Jason now is in a weird spot too. He's got a player on both sides of him. Cameron, I think, should be in a fight here with the Rays. The Rays is alted though. You gotta kill her. Rays gets the alt kill, but Jason gets the kill on the Rays. So now Omen is alone for UDJ, um, and it looks like he's in market. I believe. He is in market, and he's going to be killed by Charlotte. That is a 9 nothing for Charlotte. I don't want to see Charlotte give up a single round. I'm going to be honest with you, chat. If, if Charlotte loses one round, I'm going to be mad. Um, we should not give up a single round to this team. I would like them to go into Thursday with all the confidence in the world. If they give up a round to a four-man, it's just a lack of gameplay knowledge. Um, smoke on the site. Looks like no one's here. Oh, someone is playing in tree. They're, they're playing with a marshal, so if you can get up close, theoretically... Should have the advantage. That's exactly what Jason does. He takes out technical for UDJ. He's going to... Oh, pff, okay. He's going to... Oh, he gets put down a tree. That looked like the makings of an ace there for Jason. Gets two really good kills there, but can't close it out. Cameron's playing under hell here on site. Ryan alts for some reason. 
and um, gets nothing. Looks like two of them are playing tree. Ripley, I'm sorry, Ryan gets the kill on that, but the whole team of Charlotte was shooting at that poor player. And uh, the Omen's going to go down too. Charlotte is smothering UDJ right now. Um, tough situation for UDJ being only four, but I'm going to be honest with you. If they had a fifth, I'm not sure much more would change because Charlotte is playing really, really well right now. I'm loving what I'm seeing. Loving what I'm seeing right now. You coach kids, and you hope they get what you're coaching. And every team has a week where things start clicking. And that week for us was a several weeks ago. It was I think it was week four when things started clicking for us. And they realized, hey, if I pay attention to coaching and I start making myself better, then that's that's a good thing for us. Did I just switch away and immediately he gets killed? What in the world? Okay, so the Omen TP back onto our spawn. But Charlotte wins the trades. And it's a 3v2 right now in favor of Charlotte. Jason is going to TP onto A site. Realize A site is open, so Charlotte has to get the spike back. They get the spike back, and Davin's going to try to rotate out, but the raise is going to be in mid. You don't see her, she's going to be right in front of you. She should be, but she should be right in front of you on B main. But. All right, 1v1. Jason's got to clutch it up for his team. You heard me say it. We give up a round, I'm going to be mad. Jason has never lost these. Nade coming out by the race. Trying to put some extra pressure onto Jason. Jason has no time, though. He's got to just get this kill. Um, he's going to TP out into main. He heard her go towards Spike. She's right around that corner. She has to be. 15 seconds. Not a lot of time here. Jason has to... Where'd she go? I'm confused. I'm lost. I'm dazed and confused. He's not going to have time. He's got to look for the kill. She's nowhere to be seen. She knows he can't get the spike down in time, so she's just going to hide and play her life here. And Charlotte is going to lose a round. That is unfortunate. But hey, 10-1 Charlotte. I'm only a little grumpy. So looking at Charlotte's eco right now, um, Ripley's kind of in shambles. He's only got 400 creds left, but he, he should have teammates be able to buy for him. Um, no big deal there. A lot of picks coming out for Charlotte over onto A site. It looks like um, UDJ has just said, screw it. We're going to be aggressive and start pushing these guys. So Charlotte really just has to play back. They have to play back because UDJ is going to walk into them. They're going to be able to get these kills. And uh, they just need to relax. 3v2 right now in favor of Charlotte. Oh, camera gets peaked. Um... All they got to do is play patient here. Guarantee if Jason sits here, he's going to get someone on the rotate. Jason's going to choose to move. Good news, we have our Sentinel up. So Davin's going to be able to set up on site. Um, Jason does see one in market. Looks like two are in market, actually. Oh, he's... Oh, my gosh. The flick kill. Oh, but he tries to put Util in his hand, so it's just Davin now on site. Davin has his Util out on site, so all he has to do is stay alive and let them run into those trip wires. He's going to go to lane. That's the worst-case scenario because Davin doesn't really have anything on lane to stop him. He's going to be left. Davin hears it, gets the kill, clutches for his team. Good job, Davin. Whew. All right, I was a little nervous right there. One round is forgivable. Two rounds, I'll get... I, I, I don't want to give up two rounds. All right, so now Charlotte's going to switch over to defense here. Um, Davin's going to start out on A site. Davin's going to be the focal point of the defense. He's playing what's called a Sentinel. 
Um, this is a character that is built to defend a site. You can see he's got trip wires that he sets up. Um, he also has a camera ability. And um, he uh, has all of these crazy setups that allow him to hold down a site and stall UDJ from taking that site. So he does hear someone on A main. Four people come out on the knife. So the entire team of UDJ is in the elbow on A main. He's going to trigger his cage and peek out here. Nothing to peek at, though. He's got to back up, back into his cover. Just bait your trips. And we get an aggressive push up through mid. UDJ now rotating all the way through mid right here, trying to get to the other side. Jason's going to get one kill, get a second kill. Why not? Ryan gets a third, and UDJ is now in a 4v1 situation with Spike down top mid. So Charlotte just has to sit on Spike here and wait this out. All of the pressure right now is on the raise from UDJ to try to make something happen for her team. Devin's got his camera out on a site, but I'm honestly just going to sit here on Jason because Jason has Spike right next to him. And I don't... Ripley seems to ping something. He thinks the race is going to approach from here. Perhaps the raise is not going to approach at all. Oh, Jason's in a fight with her right now. Getting a couple wall bang shots off. She's going to nade Jason out of there. Jason has to back off. She doesn't have enough time anyways, um, but she's just trying to get a kill for her team right now. The Rays does get the kill on Jason, but that's a win for Charlotte because the Rays did not plant Spike. And um, Charlotte's going to go up 12 to 1. It is first to 13, chat. A lot of the games this year for Valorant have been very one-sided. Very one-sided. Uh, Van, thank you. We're up 12-1 right now. So, so far, so good. Knife comes out for Cameron. They identified the Omen on a site, but ooh, some wall bank shots coming out. On to Ryan, and it... Oh, wait. Eight. Oh, my gosh. Jason's doing things. Jason's making me... You got two bullets, bud. This is, this is crazy. Charlotte trying to push UDJ all the way back to their spawn right here. Um, the sky of UDJ flashes herself. And dies, and uh, Charlotte wins 13-1 in round or er, map one. Um, the, we do play two maps, so there is a second map I'm going to set up here. We're going to go to bind next. But Charlotte wins 13-1. That's convincing. So just for the scoreboard look here, um, Jason, we are in the red by the way on this uh, because we were the attackers. But Jason, 17 and six. Cameron ten and eight, Ryan uh, eleven and five, Ripley eight and four, and Davin is nine and four. So uh, all around, just good play by Charlotte. Four v five um, situation, but uh, it's not too bad. So I'm gonna get this set up here. So Charlotte is going to go to defense, and I believe UDJ is going to go to attackers. My chat always gets disabled.
All right. Now all of the chats are coming in. So again, I'm in a three minute delay. So I'm seeing your celebratory chats right now. Um, Butterfly says, let's go. Van says, way to go. I appreciate y'all in the chat. Um, that's a huge round for Charlotte. So how this works um, is we get to choose the second map. Trying to commute to communicate to UDJ right now that we are taking attack and they have not gotten my message, so trying to see if one of the kids for for some reason, every time we do this, see this little chat room not connected thing? Why the heck does this happen? It it's only after the first game. After the first game, every single time it says chat room not connected, and I cannot talk to the other team. It drives me bonkers. So I'm trying to communicate on my phone right now, but Charlotte has elected to take attacker side. Um, how that works is if if you host the game, you get to choose first. Um, or I'm sorry, if you ch post the game, the other team gets to choose attacker or defender on the first map. We get to choose attacker or defender on the second map, um, and that's how that works. So we have chosen to attack. typing things in chat but I can't type back Okay, all right, so we have chosen attack. It is going to bind, and we are ready to go. All right, Charlotte is ready. UDJ is ready. Let's get this thing going. So what I'd like to see from Charlotte is absolute friggin' domination right here. Um, I want to see at least 13-1. 13, 13 we'll give him one round, but I want 13-1. What I also want to see is some discipline right here. I want to see Charlotte not give in to their urges to just push. Because Charlotte right now, they're like, oh, I'm in a 5v4. Like, I just want to push everything and go crazy. Um, we can't do that. We, we have to stick to our fundamentals. We have to do what we know is good Valorant, and I want to see them do that. We did make one sub, by the way. We have Jacob. He's beamed down there coming in for Davin. They both play Cypher. We wanted to see them both play Cypher in a, in a stressful environment, so we're going to look at both um, on film and see which of them uh, plays that Cypher later for us this week in the state playoffs. But Jacob does come in for the second game on Bind. So we have Jason. He's going to switch over to Rays. That's Dad. Um, Ryan is target 598. He's going to be on Gecko again. Cameron is going to be playing Sky. Um, Cameron is obviously Cameron. Um, Ripley is Red Ninja. He's going to be on Omen again. And then J Jacob is going to be on Cypher, and that's Beam. So I want domination right here from Charlotte. 5v4. Um, they're playing really, really well. Mechanically, they seem like they're better than UDJ. 
and I think that uh, they should be winning this round. That trip right there is beautiful. Okay, I love that trip. So Cameron's going to be entry for her team right here. She's going to be looking at TP. Usually someone plays lamps right there. Holds Util in her hands, but she has Ryan watching her. Viper for UDJ. That's annoying. Smoke coming out. They're going to walk through here. Cameron's going to heal her team. Keeping them healthy. Cameron gets a nice pick over there onto Showers. Um, they hear one, I believe that's Heaven, she hears one, and they hear one Elbow. But the pick's coming out for both teams right now. 3v2 in favor of Charlotte. Some shots coming out from Jacob on far. Jacob right now is not very warmed up, but he's just seemingly jumping in here with no problem. Nice shots by Jacob. Okay, we have two members of Charlotte very, very low on health right now. The only people with full health, the only person with full health is Ryan right here. And he hears them ro coming through lamps. Ryan's going to try to win the fight here. The Viper's going to peek him and get sat down. And then he's going to turn around, and his teammate's going to help him out with the Yoru. And Charlotte wins round 1-1-0, one, one, oh, Charlotte. Great round by Charlotte. Couple early picks there for UDJ, but Charlotte able to pull it back in and uh, make sure that we come out on top of that. That's huge. Ryan knifing a box. Valorant things. Let's see what the other kids are doing here. Cameron is crouch spamming. Um, holding her candy cane. Interesting. Dog is going to clear out all the angles here. They see... Oh, that's a Bucky. You need to be careful with that. But hey, Bucky on... Uh, okay, holy cow. A lot of util right now coming out of Cameron. Cameron's going to be... Um, fighting here in TP. She wins the fight because she's just all around better. Um, and then uh, Charlotte just walks through UDJ's four-man onto B site, and they're able to go up 2 nothing on UDJ. And Jacob seems to be crouch spamming and staring into the eyes of Ripley. Truly adorable friendship they have. Picks coming out for Charlotte. UDJ loses their Yoru right away to the judge of Jason, who is now camping TP. I might just watch this because I want to see him get a kill this way. Please do it. I'm sure Charlotte's doing wonderful things on site right now. But this is the most entertaining thing I could watch right now. Please tell me this happens. Oh, nope. Well, he's going to get one pick here, but it's not going to be from TP. Nice. And the last one here is an elbow. And Charlotte's going to get the kill. I want to see J Jason rat out TP again. That, that's something I need in my life. I like that trip a lot. Might want to change up your trip a little bit, Jacob, because uh, they hit it once. They'll know it's there now. What in the world are these guys doing? Genius move by Jason to jump over that. Holding a grenade in his hand right now, he's going to shoot a judge long range. Never really a good thing, but he's going to go ahead and entry for his team. Try to entry. He's bonusing a judge. Don't hate that too much, but Charlotte is now in a 3v3. Taking TPs. Trying to let them know that they're rotating. Mosh pits behind him. I like that play too by Ryan. They could just go over to the TP right now, but they are going to plant here on site. Wingman's going to go down and do that job for them. Wingman gets murdered right there. My goodness. 
Um, Jason loses his gunfight, and Ripley's in a 1v3 right now. And loses his gunfight to the Rana. The Rana just popped off for UDJ. Great plays by that Rana. So Charlotte gave up their one round. Let's not give up another. comes out. Jason falls for it, but he gets flashed again by this Yoru. My gosh. Jason in an intense 1v1 right now with this Yoru. That Yoru would be wise to not peek that again. He's going to peek it. Jason's going to shoot. Oh my gosh, Jason gets the head tap and wins the gunfight. Um, the ult coming out by Ryan stuns the Viper to their left. If they can go out and get that kill, she is detained right now. She's behind the box. She gets her gun back just in time, but loses the gunfight to Ryan. That's a great ult. And a great kill by Ryan to end the round. 4v1, or 4 2 1 for Charlotte. All things going well for Charlotte right now. going to be the first to peek here. I don't think they've been challenging this so far. She pings the box. Perhaps she is a little nervous of someone being there. No one is there. They're going to walk on here. There's an op in the hand of the Viper on B site. Um, they're going to go ahead and get real close and personal with that Viper to get that op out of her hand. Jason flies into sight to clear it for his team. And Charlotte looks to be taking sight here with relative ease. 5v2 right now in favor of Charlotte. Rana is backside, she gets one kill. Gonna get outflanked by Jacob, go down. I'm not sure where the raise is. Raise is up in hookah, she gets put down as well. Charlotte goes up, five to one. Cameron gets picked off right away, but it looks like they cypher ulted and everybody is on B site. So Charlotte is going to be able to just plant and then play for defense here. Little post plant strategy coming out. Oh, Jason has an op. Is that what I just heard? Oof. No way they peek us again. That would be insane. One enemy remaining. Charlotte is in a 4v1 situation. Jason is staring down B, C, T with an op. Sorry, A, C, T. Nothing yet. So Yoru is probably going to be saving at this point. Jason better have his gun out and ready because this Yoru could be anywhere around this corner looking for people rotating out trying to get a gun out of their hands, but there is no Yoru in sight, and Charlotte is going to go ahead and go up 6-1. to one. All right, a little scoreboard check here. Jason's up 9-3 uh, on his KD right now. Uh, Jacob's 5-1. and one. Ripley's 4-2. and two. Uh, Ryan is 3-2, and two, and Cameron is 3-5. and five. All right. Um, looking at UDJ's side of things, the Viper and the Reyna are carrying the day for UDJ. 
Um, seven and six for the Viper, five and six for the Reyna, and then we have two struggling um, on the bottom there, 0 and 5 and 1 and 7 um, for UDJ. Jason peeking with the op here. Let's see if that Yoru wants to try and fight Jason again over here on long. Nothing yet. Ripley's going to go ahead and walk up. Some pick coming down in Hookah. The TP is used, and the TP, oh my gosh, a bazooka came through the TP at Ryan, but Ryan survives it somehow, some way. 3v2 in favor of Charlotte right now. Ryan is fighting on TP. He's going to get a couple of shots down. He has Spike. He has to get through that. Oh my gosh, that was the most terrifying thing in the world. Please never do that again. Ryan gets through. He gets back to his team. Wingman plants for him. And Ripley's going to be holding this raise in Hookah. The raise peaks it. Ripley sprays, gets the kill, but he does go down to elbow. The Viper has bought a op again. Man. The Viper is still elbow. All he has to do is bait that for a minute. Because Jason, I believe, should get the kill here. I think she rotates through this, right? Or not. And Jason wins the op fight over. Coming out of elbow on B site. That's a good job by Charlotte. That's a good round. They're going to go up 7-1. to one. Reyna's going to blind right away. She's going to peek out and get a kill on camera, and that's a good job by that Reyna to even the odds for UDJ. It's now a 4v4. Uh, UDJ is – oh, my gosh. Jason gets a kill through the blind um, with the op. This kid is insane with the op. I'm just going to keep watching him, to be honest with you. Spike is now down, though, over by Jacob. Jacob's going to be fighting for his life here, trying to keep Spike alive for Charlotte. Um, but – they do it. They get the trades out. It's a 3v1 in favor of Charlotte. Charlotte just has to go get this spike down. So we'll go ahead and back to Jason here, who's now picked up a Vandal. He is checking his corners. He's pre-firing his corners. A good practice for any Valorant player starting out. He's going to peek that. That's a really scary peek. Just wait outside of it, please. I believe Omen has someone up here in Hookah. Ripley staring down the Hookah entrance. Is that going to be Hookah or CT? I don't think they're going to come along. They might not. Oh, they, she did come along. Interesting. All right. So they're going to wipe up that Viper, and Charlotte goes up 8-1 on UDJ. Bates, how's it going? Let's go indeed. We're up 8-1 on the second map. We 13-1 UDJ in the first map. Um, couldn't have asked for a better game from Charlotte right now. Everything's looking good. Viper all A. Get out. Leave. This is... This is crazy. Why are we doing this? Why, why are we doing this? Oh, I'm going to freak out. Cameron's got to get out with Spike. Charlotte's going to rotate over to B site. Anybody in chat coach a team? Anybody in chat coach a team and you tell a team, tell your team, hey, don't do this thing. And then, like, the next week they do the very thing that you told them not to do. It's just a frustrating experience. Oh, 
Omen gets picked off for Charlotte. That's someone behind Jacob here. He's got to realize that. He does realize it. Uh, Cameron and Jacob are just going to hold their crosses here. The blind comes out for them. They know someone's there now. The raise is going to satchel back. But Charlotte has to make a move here. There's only 30 seconds left. Jacob gets picked off from behind. Cameron's going to go ahead and dog the raise. But the... Reyna peeks from behind. Charlotte right there tried to push into a Viper alt, which is like Valorant 101 of a no-no. Like, don't do that. Um, they tried it, lost two players because of it. It equaled the ground for UDJ, and UDJ is going to take a second round. Um, those types of mistakes are a little frustrating. I'm not going to lie, but hey, we're up 8-2 right now. I'm a bit of a perfectionist. I do realize that about myself. But practice makes perfect, and perfection equals wins. Spamming the hookah entry to try to see if anybody is there. Cameron's going to go ahead and dog out for her team. She does see a Yoru on site. She hits him with her dog, but the stun's going to be gone by the time that they can do anything with it. Jason ults. Charlotte getting a couple picks long here. Ripley gets picked off in the meantime. Jason holding for the rain of peaks away at the wrong time. That's that's gamer timing right there if I've ever seen it. Uh, 2v1 in favor of Charlotte right there. The alt coming out by Ryan gets nothing. Cameron doing a really good job with the heal. Oh my lord. Cameron doing a really good job with the heal and almost gets herself killed with it. But she lives that and gets the last pick to give her team the victory. Butterfly says go Jacob. I agree. Kid's popping off, I think. Yeah, he's 9-4 and four right now. Doing a really good job. Let's watch a little bit of Jacob since we have someone in the chat cheering him on. Aaron says no, but as a parent, I get it. Yep. Jacob bought a shorty. And then he sold it. Okay. I love those knives, Jacob. Charlotte going for a quiet push onto A site. Jacob leading the way here onto showers. There's a name for everything in Valorant. Oh my gosh, they pushed through here. Jason's going to clear lamps for his team. Jacob has now pushed onto boxes onto site. He's going to back off and set up for... Oh, my God. Close right, close right, close right. Okay. J uh, Jacob's now the last player standing. Jacob's got a chance to clutch up for his team right here. He might. He's going to have to... Oh, they're not sticking it. Good camera usage by Jacob to figure out that they're not sticking that right there. Great job by him. He's going to get a pick there. It's going to stop the plant from being diffused. They did half it. He sees that. He's going to reload. She'd probably hear that reload. And she can't clutch it up for his team. But that's a heck of a try right there. Really good camera usage by him. Um, he had his ult in his pocket. Could have possibly used the ult. But he already had the camera stuck on anyway. So um, no big deal there by Jacob. Charlotte gives up a third round to a four-man. Um, not ideal. But they're going to switch over to defense now. So this is actually where Jacob's character should reign supreme. His character is the same one Davin was playing last round. He's got these setups. He's got these trip wires that his team um, can play off of. He's got a really good camera setup there, too. I really like that one. Um, sees over the wall into long. Really, really good camera. Um, one thing I don't like, we have two players playing on... B site with Jacob. Uh, they should be over on A. We should be three stacking the non Sentinel site. Um, but I think we should be okay. Cameron blinding through TP gets nothing. Worth a check. The Viper Util all coming out to push through lamps. This is going to be a heavy push onto Cameron right now in lamps. She gets some shots out, but the judge is too much for Cameron to handle. The whole team is going to push through lamps. That is a wall that is used in the pro scene to push onto lamps and then push through to A. 
Ripley going to be playing through here onto site. But Jason going to go ahead and get a couple of picks for his team. The nade comes out. He throws it short to try to put pressure on the Reyna. The Reyna pushes him, but he loses the gunfight. 3v2 oh, two two in favor of no one right now. 2v1 uh, in favor of Charlotte. 1v1 now. Jacob in a clutch situation again for his team, trying to hold off the spike until it can explode. He's going to go ahead and go into lamps here and try to peek out. He hears her. She's going to try to rotate to showers. You can back off that right now. She doesn't have time. Oh, wait. I'm dumb. We're on defense now. I'm a dingus. He's just going to stick it. Huge. I'm going to need to see a clip from Jason. Got you. This is Jason right here. His name is Dad. I'm mad at him for it. So we got Jason here. He's going to be playing in hookah. Let's see what kind of gun he buys. That's going to tell us a lot about his strategy here. He's one to buy a judge. He did buy a judge, yep. It's like I know these kids. Cameron? That was an incredible... Can I get the Cameron, please? Cameron gets a pick. Gets traded out. J Jason with the judge. She gets a one kill. Nades out. Gonna pick up the bulldog to try to get another kill here. How much ammo does it have in it? It's got 15. It's got enough. Gets flash. He's flicking around here like crazy. He's gonna get the pick on the Yoru. And then look for the last pick. He's got four bullets in his gun. He's gotta realize that. Please realize there's four bullets in your gun. Uh, but the raise is on the other side of the map. Great team play by Cameron and Jason right there. Setting up on the B site. Looks like another A push here. They did not fall for the flash this time from the Yoru. That's good. Got to watch your back and showers right now, Ripley. Ripley's going to peek out and get one of the picks. Huge job by Ripley. He does lose the fight there. That's just a gun diff. Ryan going for the Spectre skin. A truly Ryan thing to do. Rana's playing Hookah. He's going to get the pick out on Rana. Viper's going around into Lamps. And she's going to get picked off by Ryan. They win the day. Well done for Charlotte. 12 to 3. Charlotte only needs one more round to go up 13 to 3 to win this whole thing. Sorry about the black screen. My fault. All right. Um, let's see. Watch Cameron. Cameron's going to dog first. Okay, sees nothing. So I'm assuming it's going... Oh, never mind. Jason, please. Jason, please. Where's Jason? Jason, please. There we go. Pick coming out for Jason. What is... What am I seeing? Uh-oh. Charlotte's in a 2v3 right now because A has been lost. What is this phantom skin? Is my game glitching or is that an actual skin that he has? Nice shots by him, though. He's going to nade onto the entrance of lamps. Back that person off from him. You gotta wait for that to go down before. Okay. 
You got to wait for that util to go down before you walk across. Um, UDJ takes a fourth win on Charlotte. 12 to 4 in favor of Charlotte. Yeah, so right now, I mean, UDJ, they, they do have a four-man. So, like, that that can't be ignored, right? They're playing with a four-man, but, I mean, I don't see any indication that if they had a five-man, Charlotte would be losing this game. Charlotte would be playing this really, really well. Cameron getting a pick through the smoke with the help of Jacob's Cypher trip. A possible rotation through... Oh, nope, Spike is down A. The alt coming down for Ryan on the rotation. Jason just waiting there with a judge in his hand. Um, how come they only have four players? I actually don't know the reason for that. Um, they delayed the game. So, so this was supposed to be played last Thursday. They decided that they wanted to push it to Monday. We agreed with them because we had a few of our players gone. But their fourth player or their fifth player is still gone, so hopefully that fifth player is okay. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that reason is. Charlotte wins the 13th point for the map, and they go up 13-4. They win the map. They win the series, and that's a good job by Charlotte all around. Um, so hey, we are in. Uh, with that victory, Charlotte qualifies for the play-in tournament on Thursday. Okay. So how this is going to look Thursday, we are going to play a game. If we win that game, we go to the in-person state playoffs um, and uh, we get to actually experience that. But Thursday, I will be live at 4 o'clock um, to watch that game. I want every single person that was in the chat to be there Thursday to support this team. That one is an actual playoff game. Like We do not make it to states unless – we win that game. So we have to win Thursday. We had to win today. Um, we were helped out a little bit by UDJ only having four players, but we played really, really, really well. Everybody played really, really well. Um, and uh, I'm excited to see what they do on Thursday. Great job by the kids. Great job by um, by everybody. I appreciate the chat. You guys were awesome. And uh, that's a good win for Charlotte. That's a huge win for us. Okay. So I will see you guys back on Thursday for an a actual playoff game and we're going to do really really well all right uh no more mistakes yeah there were some mistakes in this one for sure but that's what we got the film for so i'm excited to go back um watch the film and then um let the kids know what i think that they can improve on but that's a great win for charlotte i appreciate y'all in the chat um come be with us on thursday at four o'clock for the play in tournament to get to the in-person state playoffs if we get to in-person state playoffs parents feel free to come on out Saturday. Join us. It's going to be a heck of a time, and um, it's a really great experience and a great facility for those kids to, to experience that, uh, that type of environment. So, all right, chat, I appreciate you. Have a good night.